Remember that when you are trying to convert from degrees to radians, you're always going to be multiplying by <clears throat> pi over 180. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to rewrite 15 degrees, and then we're going to multiply by that uh, conversion factor, which is pi over 180. Um, now what I would do from here, um, you can reduce this fraction by hand. Um, if you have a calculator that will reduce fractions for you, what you want to do is in your calculator, you want to put in the fraction 15 over 180. You do not want to put the pi in, otherwise it's going to give you crazy decimals. Um, when you do this, it's going to give you the answer 1 over 12. So what that means is that our final answer would be 1 pi over 12, um, but because there's a 1 there, it's unnecessary. So the final answer would just be pi over 12. Same thing with uh, your second problem here. So we're going to take 215 degrees. We're going to multiply it by our conversion <clears throat> factor, which is pi over 180. In your calculator, you would put in 215 over 180. And when you reduce it, it's going to give you 43 over 36. So your final answer would be 43 pi over 36. And then for our last example, um, <clears throat> this one's negative, but it's not going to change the way we do the problem. We're still going to take it and multiply by pi over 180. In your calculator, um, you can put the negative in if you want. You can do negative 75 over 180. And uh, when your calculator simplifies, it will give you negative 5 over 12. So our final answer would be negative 5 pi over 12.